On a concluding note, may I now call upon our esteemed and distinguished guest, Ms. Elizabeth Atwell, Head Infrastructure and Urban Development from British High Commission to join us to extend a vote of thanks to all eminent personalities. Please, ma'am. Thank you and um, almost good evening. I think it's just me that stands between you and the weekend, so I promise not to be too long. Um, but I think it would be remiss not to say a few words of thanks to everyone that's put their time and effort into this. So I would like to start by saying I'm really delighted that the UK has been able to support and this important event and showcase some of the UK expertise and experience to date. So thank you very much to those that have attended to do that. Um, I think as Sally mentioned yesterday, the UK is very much committed to working with India and facilitating um, the rollout of BIM. So let me first um, thank Abhishek and the work of Niti Ayog um, and of course Shawbik, who has disappeared to you out there um, from our very own British High Commission, also right in front of me, um, because obviously you put a lot of work into conceptualising this event, so thank you very much and I think bringing everyone together has been really valuable. Um, I also, of course, need to thank the organisers who've done a really great job and the speakers, the presenters, the panellists, everyone for giving up their time and really valuable contributions. So thank you very much. Um, it's been a really successful event and that's in large part due to all of your contribution. Uh, as somebody who loves data and optimization, I really enjoyed seeing the demonstrations of how BIM is being used in practice in India. Um, I think the range of expertise has been from, um, from academia to implementers. That's given us a very rounded understanding of the opportunities and the challenges that BIM presents. And there's been so much valuable experience in the room, and this will help us progress this very important agenda. So some of my own reflections and takeaways over the last couple of days are um, just how much we stand to benefit from the expansion and the development of BIM, not just within a more efficient infrastructure, but those white, the spillover into those other um, sectors that, that come out of infrastructure. So my team at the British High Commission, we work on infrastructure, but also climate adaptation and the very big piece of trying to look at climate finance. Um, I think it was Adam that mentioned earlier the UK example of um, for the cost of um, what would have been, well, I'll get it right around, five, um, seven schools. You could, yeah, five scores, you can do seven. So uh, huge efficiency gains that can be there. So I think this is vital as we move forward to trying to meet that finance gap. You know, the efficiency is actually a really important way because at the moment we, there isn't enough financing in the sector. Um, so this will help us meet those climate goals. Anyway, so we partnered with NITI IOG and I think we really look forward to partnering with other organisations as we look to take this forward. Um, and as I bring it to a close, really valuable connections that have been made today. Let's build on those connections. Let's take these forward. Um, we'd really love to put more UK organisations in touch with Indian organisations. So please reach out. Let us help. Let us help us do that. So I'll finish. Thank you very much. Really appreciate all of your inputs. And I really hope we take this forward to really pushing BIM forward. So thank you. Ms. Atwell, can I request you to please be on stage with us for a moment longer? And may I request Mr. Shobik Ganguly to hand over the memento to Ms. Atwell? <laughs> 